Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to The Sims 3. Many, many episodes ago. Oh, that stupid camera. Um, ah! <laughs> Toby's boss gave him the mission of meeting. Oh, I'm gonna shit myself in rage. That was not not, not the, what he gave him the mission for. To meet Cruz Martin Gale, and here he comes. I hope we finally found him. He was fine looking for evil deeds. Toby decided. There you go. Hi, um, I'm Toby. Um, Toby. I s oh, he stinks super bad. Cruz thinks Toby's okay. I like your stench. It's a manly stench. Um, so, um, uh, how, how's your career? It used to be here. I don't know if it matters or not. Does the opportunity thing not matter? Because I swear an episode or two ago it was still on there. Who's this dweeb? Bertram? Oh man, Bertram used to be Toby's friend. So, um, my idiot boss wanted me to be friends with you? Um... Ooh, medical assembly! The school's holding an assembly to honor local performers and they've requested that you... Sh Wait, this is for Oriole? She's the criminal! Did somebody just walk by and hear her play guitar? They've requested you show up to rock out for the children! You'll be paid for your performance, but only if you show up to give it. Uh, grab your guitar and get to school. Well, if she wants to, she can do that. I'm not going to send her on it. Oh, your, your phone's ringing, Tobster. I gotta get this, Cruz. Toby answered the damn phone. Fine. Okay, okay there we go. I thought he was going to let it just go. Hi, Toby. This is Erpel Einstein calling. Do you want to hang out? Sure. Uh, Who the fuck are you? Yeah, I gotta go talk to Cruz some more. So somebody's coming to my house, Cruz. What are you doing? You want to make me a drink? <laughs> yeah, hook me up, bro. Make me a mudslide. It's a hot day. Cruz? He's having an evil drink. No, I don't think that's what I told you to do, Toby. <laughs> Are you saying you're gonna have some drinks with your new friend? And who's this bitch? It's uh, Imogene Pelly. Toby? No, Toby, you. Whatever. You're talking to the wrong person, Toby. <laughs> I'm making friends with my beverage. All right, Tobe, sir. I'll I'll leave you to that. How you doing, little Tyrone? Oh, you're having fun by yourself? All right, that's fair. Oriole's sleeping. She's never going to that assembly. Like, who would want to? If some school's like, hey, you want to come play before the kids? No, I don't want to. You think the kids are going to appreciate that? Oh, wait. Is Nikki going to be nice to someone in the house? In the form of the cat? Nikki's never nice to anybody. Wow. Well, okay. Now they're both thinking of the dream he made. Quit being creepy, Nicky, and staring at him. You too, cat. Uh, where are you going now, dick? You're gonna go fight somebody? What? You were supposed to be getting to know Cruz. Now you're going into a barn? Who are you chasing? Who the hell is this? Benjamin Schmidt. I don't even know who this guy is. Have we seen him before? <laughs> that guy's like, man, Toby stinks. I don't stink at fighting, bitch. Eat it, Ethan. All right, let's just go to the love festival. This has all been a failure. The cruise thing has not worked at all. I wanted to see him use this love tester or whatever the hell it is. Check out the face painting. Is there anybody else here at this festival? It seems pretty lame. Alright, Toby, where are you?
All right, we're gonna see if you're a love winner or love loser. That looks pretty high. I don't know if we get something that tells him what it is. Burden, is it hot in here or is it just a person standing in front of the love inspector? Well, he did make a baby. He might have made a second baby too. It sounds like cheeky, they're singing Cheeky Bobby. It's about Tyrone. I like how the, the kissing booths are such failures that the two kissing booth people have to blow kisses to each other because nobody wants to kiss them. Wait, is that a different Chuck? There's another Chuck cop? What? Oh, man. Alright. Fair enough. Wait, he wants to get a kiss at the kissing booth? Alright, if that's what you want to do, Topster. Well, which one are we going to kiss? Let's roll die and find out. Well, we're kissing the dude. High number was the dude, and I rolled a 20, so... I rolled on my 20 on my very cool die. Yeah. Alright, Toby, get over here. Get that smooching on. This is your own fault. <laughs> Lay it on me, boy. Ooh, radioactive. Hey, let's get some from here, too. Why not? Hey, girl. Is Oriel going to be mad? Oriel's going to be like, you're spending all our money on this. Well, you don't have a job. So I can go spend my money on what I want. Hey, Junkster. Lay it on my face. Oh. Is it inappropriate to use tongue in a kissing booth? I have a feeling it is. I don't know. I don't want to kiss total strangers. Oh, he's probably on cop chat. Get a life dick. You're one of those guys who plays... Ooh, he's a cop in real life, and then you come home and you play an RP cop. Something weird about that. Ooh, Tyrone's free! I hear him! Oh, Lexi brought home 783 bucks? Damn, she's making good money. Let's, can we give this... No, 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 not to those people. I want to give the drink to the baby. Like, hey baby, do you want drugs? Let's see if Tyrone ever gets home. Where is Tyrone? He's, wait, he joined an Easter egg hunt or something. He's searching for eggs. I thought he was going to automatically come home after the kissing booth, but now... Screw domestic life. I'm living the wild life of an egg hunter. Will he find any, though? Oh, you got one, bro. Does that go into your inventory or just... <laughs> He's got even a basket. Where's your inventory? I don't see an egg in there. There's no eggs over here, bro. He's gonna miss work. Because he's looking for eggs. But whatever, I don't even care. No, take it from that old man. Don't let that old man get the egg. What's this? Get inside? Get inside? Is something bad happening? Where are you going, Toby? There aren't like tornadoes or anything, are there? He's running inside, too. Hey, Petey Wiseman. Hey, go hassle this cop, bro. Go insult this cop. Come on, you don't, you're a criminal. You don't like the cop anyway. I already know what Chuck was a loser cop. Felipe thinks Toby's okay. Oh, that's, this is Felipe. Now Felipe thinks Toby's in play. Felipe's like, this seems like a nice guy. Hey, little cute doggy. Old enemies. Wait, how do we... Do they know each other from before? Uh, where's the friend thing? I'm guessing they do because it says old enemies and there's a fair amount of 
negative red bar there. Hey, Felipe, could you move your fat ass? He's got to get to work. He's got to make money to pay for his baby and stuff. And I don't know where he's going. There you go. Uh-oh. No, baby, you're going to become a couch potato. I mean, I guess it could be worse, at least as a cooking show. Maybe you'll learn some skills you can use. I've got to hurry. It's my first day as a bag man. I'm going to be bag holding. Oops. Stupid camera. Because he got that promotion not that long ago. What kind of money does he make? $65 an hour. What does... Lexi makes 87. That's the resident. The medical resident in our house. Go, 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 Toby. What have the rest of y'all done, though? Denise is doing nothing. She's sleeping. Lexi and Chuck are hanging out. Watch out before Nikki crushes you, Tyrone. Run, be free. Be free. Don't let her catch you. None of the other people in our house have really had any big desires to hook up with anybody, which kind of surprises me. In Sims 2, I think there were at least two couples in the house. Like, everyone in the house just doesn't seem to really care. Nikki, let that baby run free! If you can't trust a baby to run around on their own in the middle of the night, what kind of life decisions will the child make later on? It's actually probably responsible. It is... 9.30, I guess it's the young Tyrone's bedtime. What are you doing, French Fry Bird? French Fry Bird's actually doing pretty good with the staffs and stuff. Oh, and her claws are perfectly manicured. You know, that is your bed if you want to use it, French Fry. No, he wants to scratch, the, she wants to scratch the table. Ah! Sometimes I really get sick of you, you stupid cat. Stop ruining this one of our better tables. Toby Hardman is in mourning because Robert Bush died. No! He'll always keep Robert alive in his memory. He'll remember when Robert came to his birthday party and made fun of him and laughed at him. And then told him his party sucked. Well, actually, he was like, yay, yay, it's your birthday. And then he's like, your party sucks. And he laughed. R.I.P. Robert. I wanted to invite more people over from the Bush family, but Toby gets home at such stupid hours. In fact, shouldn't Oriole still be gone? Simoleon's under the table! Is she at work? The usual courier is sick, so we need you to take this gift to City Hall quickly. Mayor Heist are planned, and we need officials to be persuaded to look elsewhere. Major Heist, not Mayor. Once you take care of this, the leader will take care of you with gratitude and job performance. Yeah, she can do that. Oh, so she is doing her crime stuff. Tyrone's at home while both his parents are out committing crimes. Oh, there's an emergency at the hospital. Lexi Hardman needs to get there to help out. Well, is she going to? Nope, she's sleeping. And she does not get off her fat ass <laughs> when that happens. And she's late for work. She's like, yeah. Give yourself surgery. I'm not doing it. Oh, whoa. Oriole's back from work. Where's Toby? Oh, he's passed out on the, <laughs> on the side of this, the road. Well, it's not the first time he slept outside. You enjoy a nice rest there, Toby. I think you've earned it. And what asshole broke her sink? Who are the culprits? It was probably Oriole, because didn't Oriole just walk in that way? No. Hmm. And Denise was sleeping. I think Nikki was sleeping, so it was probably Dick or Lexi. That or happened much earlier and I missed it, which is very possible. Oh wait, you got inside, Toby. Are you going to go to sleep or are you just going to stare at the alarm? He's like, no, I need to eat. Are you going to... Oh, I want cake. 
Oh, I want cake so bad right now. That looks so tasty. Give me the cake. Oh, and Oreo looks like she's actually being a good mother. But she can just dump her kid off right here again and walk away. <laughs> Let the kitchen raise you, child. Oh, but she's feeding him. It's something. Low expectations, but that's something. Denise is talking about death? <laughs> yeah, we all met him once before. I'm sure we'll never ever meet him again. Oh, don't choke to death there, Toby. Oh, wait, Toby! Wait, is, is your baby happy? Yeah, okay. I was gonna give him the drugs, but if he's happy, no reason to waste the drugs. Why don't you repair that when you're done with your cake, sir? Oh, Toby's furious. He might not clean it. Okay, you wanna go to bed? Go to bed. The kitty cat was finally used in the cat bed. Had something going for us. That's the highlight of the, the the LP. Time to finish it. I knew I should have never bought this TV. That's all they do is watch TV. How rude of them, gossiping about people right here, not letting Lexi through. Sorry, Lexi. No time to love you through. Oh wait, they're mad at each other? Were they gossiping about each other? Nikki's like, I heard Oriole's a whore. I'm Oriole! Uh oh. I think I heard Tyrone do an evil laugh. Yes, yes, Tyrone. Think of all the evil you could do. But rest. You need to rest. <laughs> she... She... she she undulates like a massive wave in the ocean. <laughs> and she had to step right over here. Check out this booty wave. Nikki will never change. Oh. I should throw a party. Oriole's so good, getting so good at music that, like, party people would probably dig it. I guess the big thing is their schedule, though. They have such an odd schedule with their crying job. Are they friends? They should be. They came from the same household. Oh, man. Toby, will people come over this early? Screw it. Get up. Use your damn phone. Um, throw a party. Let's turn this off again. Every time I turn it off, they go back and turn it back on. Throw a party, then everyone can see Oriole's plane. Maybe she'll want to change careers at some point. Hurry up, Stinkbot. Support your woman. Then you can go back to sleep for as long as you want. I don't care. Hey, dipshits, you want to come over and listen to my woman play music? I smell like poop. Um, let's invite, uh, Bertram over. Uh, we'll invite Foxy over and Brianna, even though they bailed on us last time. Oral and Wienerman and Jamez. Uh, we'll invite Cheyenne over. Uh, who else? We'll invite Centric. Some, oh, we'll invite Cruz over. It might be a chance to meet him, though we'll probably be sleeping throat and we won't meet him at all. And I guess we'll invite Lore Witchy over. Is that too many people? No, it's just I need to pick a dress co code. Casual attire. Get your asses over here, party time! Cruz is trying to hit on Denise. I appreciate Sims who take times to learn new crap. Does Cruz even know her? Alright, we, we planned a party. People are saying nice things about Lexi. Someone said something nice about Nikki. <laughs> Hot Dog Man is like, Oreo, I like it when you learn things. Get away from Toby's woman. Alright, what are you doing, Toby? I hope that's for Dick. <laughs> we have two people here who are criminals where that might be a problem. 
Yeah, go take a shower. Get clean. Is that cat hissing? I assume people will let themselves in. Get to work, girl. Make us some money. Oh, there's Bertram. There's Cheyenne. There's Lower Witchy. And there's Cruz. Oh, Lower Witchy brought some food over. There's Blaster, who is not invited, but he's more than welcome to come by. I think he pulled some food off the ground to bring in. Who else do we got? Bunny Suit, Eccentric, Jamez, Sophie, Sophia, I don't know who that is, Brianna, Wiener Man. <laughs> what is Wiener Man wearing? <laughs> Where are you, Wiener Man? <laughs> I like his, this is like, this is my fancy fall wiener man wear. Or is it spring? Spring wiener man wear. It's from the spring wiener man wear line. Oreo, play for everybody. Oh, and Blaster changed his clothes again. Oh, and here comes Foxy. Foxy, you got old since the last time we saw you. Don't we all, I guess. No wiener man, no, it was Oreo <sighs> Every party goes wrong. It was meant to be so Oreo could play music, get her skills up, and everybody would like that. And instead she's in the house cleaning. Ooh, Blaster and Laura Richie Witchy sharing a moment. Alright, where are you, Tobster? Toby call repairman. Um services. That way your wife or your woman doesn't have to spend all that time with that cleaning. Like, she should be enjoying the party, not doing this. Uh, we need... Um... What do I need? Repairman! Get your butt over here! Did you step in something there? Maybe Blaze just stepped on her? That Foxy looking in the window? Are you looking in the window and judging us and thinking of money because we don't have none? Better not be judging us. Foxy, you know you can come in the house. I don't know if she wants to. Might be the Orioles in the way, too. Man, everybody's getting old. Something they're going to be dropping like flies. I guess I'll save that for next time. The party's... Now they're all staring at Wiener Man. <laughs> Maybe if... Oh, wait, no. Toby went back to bed. I don't know. <laughs> I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for hanging out.